It's Nathalie. Hey, and welcome to my channel. Uh, I am fixing to put some gel stain, not regular stain, but gel stain on the top of this. This buffet has seen some wear and tear. Uh, probably at one point I had this really pretty uh, piece of lace on the top and maybe a pot plant with water. So this has got kind of a little swollen, but I'm going to be okay with that. I'm not going to try to peel that up or do anything with that. I'm going to sand this a little bit. I'm using the manufacturer's instructions. Imagine that using the, the label, what's on the directions on the container. But I'm using Rust-Oleum gel stain and it's Kona, so it's really dark. And my dining room table has Java gel stain on the top but I was just kind of shopping locally and of course we don't have Java gel here. So part of the instruction says to sand with the grain of the wood. So I'm going to do that in some of these places where it's a little bit, uh, the stain is a little bit heavier. block uh, to do this and it just kind of lifts up and you can put the sandpaper in. There's a couple of little pins in there. Uh, it's a little easier on my kind of antique hands. So did y'all see my t-shirt? It says I have all the junk I need. Said no junker ever. Now I'm using 100 grit sandpaper. Um, I've got this little package like this and it, I can cut it just a little bit off the edge of it for to fit my sanding block. Uh, also, I'm just, I just tore off a little piece of it to go, I've already sanded off the surface part and then I'm going to just sand in the groove just a little bit just to kind of knock that finish down. We're not going all the way back to the bare wood. And I think that's the thing about this gel stain is that it's a little bit more forgiving than the regular uh, stain that would need to be on a on a brand new surface. So we're fixing to see, I've got a cloth here. I'm gonna wipe off the excess uh, sawdust. I've got just a regular cloth. I'm gonna use this to, uh, let me back up a little bit, see if I can back up a little bit. Anyway, to get the rest of the sawdust off, so you don't really need from, to see me do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that anyway. And then I'll use a tack cloth to get the rest of the dust off. I think I'm ready to get started on the top. I have my uh, Rust-Oleum gel stain, and I'm gonna stir it up. I've got an opener, some cheese cloth uh, for a lint-free wipe, and I also have some uh, old t-shirts uh, and a brush. So, I mean, I think you can apply it with a brush or with uh, a sponge or with rags, but this is what I'm going to do. And a glove, just because I don't want to make such a huge mess on me. I didn't shake this up. I don't want to shake this up. I'm going to give it a stir. darker right here where that uh, uh, water stain was but I still think that I'm gonna like it just really good like this. I just want to show you that this stuff goes a really long way out of this little 8 ounce can to do this top which is probably 18 by 50 inches or something like that I maybe used maybe two tablespoons possibly out of this 
So this stuff goes a really long way. Unless you're doing tons of projects, you probably don't need to buy the quart size. I'm ready to get started with finishing. Started finishing? Finish starting? Anyway, okay. So I've got some uh, of the Minwax Polycrylic water base that I'm going to use. And I've got a plastic bag that's going to catch a drip. The instruction, and I've waited 24 hours. I let this dry overnight. There's no dust or cat hair on there. Imagine that. There's probably cat hair because it's, it's eternal. Anyway, I'm going to open this up and I've got a new brush. And it says to stir it well. And so I'm going to do that. Just got this little stir stick. All right, I put the cat out. There we go. Another way. Alright. So I'm going to go, like I did with the stain, the entire length of it so that I don't have like stop marks. Super excited with the way that this finally turned out. So I love the distressing on the the drawers and on the front and the doors. And we got rid of the crackle with the bleed through that happened when we waxed it. Uh, I put the gel stain on the a dark Kona gel stain on the top of it. That's a reflection of that little coffee can coffee pot right there. But I really think that this turned out wonderful and I am so pleased. I hope you, if you have enjoyed this video uh, that you'll uh, subscribe and give me a little thumbs up. Um, I've got other DIY projects over on my blog myhallcloset.com so hop over there too and I will see you next time. Bye!